In this video, I will remake the original Super Mario Bros. but in 3D. Super Mario is one of the biggest gaming franchises ever, but it's safe to say that the graphics are kind of outdated. So we will be remaking the original Super Mario Bros. in 3D because, well, 3D is cool. So here's the plan. I want to remake the first level and have an animated and movable Mario character. I mean, I've been making games for over two years now, so how hard could it possibly be? Okay, so let's get started. Now, before we start working on the game, we need some models. We're just going to search the internet for some free models. There were a lot of interesting choices like the Zelda Mario, Mario Odyssey and whatever these are. Eventually, I ended up choosing this model and guess what? It's free, so my bank account really appreciates that. Thank you, Matthias H290, very cool. Now that we have a model, it's time to create a 3D project. We opened up Unity and imported Mario in. We then slapped a character controller on him and yeah, Mario can now move. Well, he looks a little weird in that deep pose, so let's add some animations. We grabbed a simple walk and an idle animation from Mixamo. And for the final touches, we animated the iconic Mario jump in Unity. And to make the game look a little bit better, we used this toon material which gives it a really cool 2D comic vibe. Well, you remember our old character controller? Well, it's slow and laggy. And so we have to write the entire script all over again. And after smashing my head into my keyboard, we made it more snappy and it started feeling a lot better. Another thing I wanted to work on was the Mario jump. Mario's jump is adjustable depending on how long the spacebar is pressed. But here's the problem. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I've been trying to get this to work for the past one week now and my brain is about to explode. I was initially trying to finish the whole game in one week, so I don't know what to do. And after hundreds of other Google searches and what felt like forever, I had something that somewhat resembled his jump. Now that we've an animated and movable character, let's create a level for him. In this video, we're just going to be creating the first level. I got a reference picture on 9 and got to work. So I started by creating all the different blocks in the game. At first, I wanted to just add textures to a cube. However, that did not give a real 3D look. So I went into Blender to make all of the different blocks in the game. And after a while, we have a question block, a brick block and a ground block. Yeah, they're all just cubes with some cool designs. So we just placed them according to the level. Now that we have a level, let's make Mario interact with it. So we first started working on the question block. In the actual Mario game, when Mario collides with the question block, it plays a small animation which turns it into a simple brown block. So to recreate this, we basically create a trigger under the block. And if Mario interacts with it, it plays the animation and spawns a prefab. And after implementing that, it works perfect. That's not supposed to happen. Now that we have an animated block, we went into Blender to create a coin. After 5 minutes, this is what I had. And when the block is triggered, the coin is instantiated and it plays the school animation and disappears, just like in the actual game. For now, we don't have a coin or a score counter, but we'll add that later. The brick block also plays the same animation as the question block, if Mario is small. But if Mario is big, the block is destroyed. So it's time to make Mario big. We went back into Sketchfab and found a mushroom. We added it in and applied a script to it to move it from side to side. And when Mario collides with the mushroom, he is scaled up. And if Mario is big and he collides with the brick block, it is destroyed. Well, it looks boring. In the actual game, the block is destroyed into four different smaller blocks. To do this, we used a Unity particle system. But here's the problem. I don't know how to use the particle system. So after spending far too long, we ended up with this. It looks pretty cool. Well, let's add some obstacles and enemies. So we downloaded model online for Goomba and imported it into Unity. I first made a simple walk animation and applied the same script as the mushroom to move it side to side. And if he collides with Mario, Mario dies. We then started working on killing the Goomba. We created a trigger on top of Goomba's head. And if Mario collides with that trigger, Goomba is squished and Mario is launched upwards. Well, it's time to add another enemy, the Koopa. We found a model online and started animating him. We applied the same script and when he collides with the Koopa's head, he placed his animation and moves on the side which is triggered. Pretty cool. Well, this empty void of nothingness is boring, so I changed the skybox. And since we cannot see what is next to the blocks in the actual game, since it's in two dimensions, I can use my imagination to do whatever we want. So we decided on adding toxic water. I'm so creative, aren't I? We also wanted to add a fire flower, but I could not find a model that looked like the fire flower in the original Super Mario Bros. So we went into Blender to make it ourselves. After a while, this is what I had. We then imported it into Unity and yeah, the flower is looking quite <laughs> nice. So in the original game, the fire flower keeps changing colors. At first, I didn't know how to implement this because I'm dumb. But luckily, the animations came in clutch and the fire flower can now change colors. 
and when you collide with this fire flower mario changes colors as well now the next part is well shooting the fireball i'm not really good with particle systems so we got this cool fire particle system on the unity asset store and then we applied a sphere collider to it and whenever we change colors and are big we can instantiate this prefab and apply force to it and um what is happening and after applying some duct tape he works for now for now we also applied a physics collider to make it more bouncy and whenever we shoot our enemy with a fireball they play a jumping animation and their colliders are turned off so they look like they die even though they're falling down forever all alone well the game looks kind of boring and dark so first i adjusted the lighting settings and applied a bit of post processing and yeah the game is almost complete except for the fact that we do not have a score counter so we started working on the ui i created some ui sprites and found this cool font online and referenced the mario ui and by reference i mean i copied it now it's time to work on the score counter so we calculate the score depending on how fast we finish and how high we land on the pole i first created a pole which was pretty straightforward we then create multiple triggers and depending on how high we land on the pole the highest score we get we then created a castle which finished the game and when we enter the castle the time left is multiplied by 5 and added to the score counter and yeah the game is now complete we just added a simple main menu and a pause and yeah we now have a 3d version of the original super mario bros for obvious reasons i cannot publish the game for you all to play since i don't want to get sued by nintendo and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash subscribe like and i'm out peace